Warning, this show contains strong language and topics that some viewers may find offensive. Listen to discretion is advised. Hello wrestling fans, and welcome to another edition of the Super of My Ties. I am Andy Quad, and with me, not always, but on this episode, it's Carmine Antonelli. Hey guys, I'm filling in for Liam because he's doing something that no one cares about, but he couldn't make it, so I'm gonna, f- I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the show with Andy, I'm gonna bite the bullet. You know what, we've had fun off the air, haven't we Carmine? It's been something. Oh, I love Eric Rowan. He's the bestest wrestler of all time, but I don't want him to go away forever or anything. Yeah, fuck it. So, on this episode of The Bite Size, for those of you who don't know, this is a condensed version of the main show, of Supla News, where we talk about one specific topic. That is correct, yes. On this episode, we're going to be talking about the movement that's been going on on social media lately, referring to a very specific problem in WWE booking, and it is... Give our truth a chance. No, I, I think it's finally time no. that they give him the you, push he really you, deserves. What are you talking about? Uh, what are you talking about? We're not talking about our fucking truth. And that's the problem, Andy. No one's talking about our truth. That's the not, man is talented. God, he I, deserves no, his come moment. On here. And I think no, at no, WrestleMania no, he will show, finally you, get you what come, he deserves. You come on this show and you're like, I can replace Liam, you guys. Don't actually replace Liam by being a dickhead. You're the one being a dickhead. What, is it because he's black? Is that why you don't want no, to No, because the real hashtag is... Oh, fuck, what is it? <laughs> it's give divas a Chad, chance. There we go, that's the one. I just, like, I literally... My brain just kind of stopped for a second. It seems to be a very common occurrence. Yep, uh, right, so, yeah, give divas a chance. So, this basically all started when, Carmine? It kind of, I mean, it's been in the works for a while, but it really blew up on Raw this past week where Paige and Emma were in a tag team match with the Bella Twins, and I'm shitting you not, it literally lasted 30 seconds. There's no airtime given to the fucking Divas anymore, and they are sick of it. Everyone. The Divas themselves have started this movement. It's kind of sad. In this day and age. Oh, it's extremely sad. In this day and age where equality has... Uh, it's not perfect, I'll give you that. Um, it's kind of bad there are two men talking about it because everyone's <laughs> going to be like, Beep! I'm like, well, what do you, what do you want me what to do? What the hell was that sound supposed to mean? People booing, like a crowd booing. Y- you went, Dee! That's a, a goat booing. <laughs> anyway, so the crowd of goats is going to boo the shit out yeah, of us. Yeah, like, everyone's like, you're, you're blokes, you, why... You, why do you care? Well, I do care. He for she and all that. The point is, <laughs> it's sad that it won in history. I did a tweet about this, right? In the UFC, so like Ronda Rousey, Misha Tate, Sarah Kaufman, I probably fucked up her name. Uh, Liz Carmouche. Yeah, you get the point. What are they called, Carmine? They're just the women's fighters. They're, yeah, they're called fighters. What are the men called, Carmine? Fighters. Okay, what are male wrestlers called? Superstars. And what are, ma- what are female wrestlers called? Divas. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. It's like, branding them a different name is just like, hey, you're segregating two people into this and this, and that's not good. With the UFC, it's like, you're all fighters. Fuck it. And... I feel like this is one of the most sexist things in the history of the planet and why this is still a thing shows how backwards the whole fucking company really is because you you want to know how really bad it is Fastlane gave us a really good example Best. There was a Best. point where the women were coming out for the championship match uh-huh. and it was Paige versus Nikki Bella 
And Lillian Garcia was doing the announcing, and she announced that this match was for the WWE uh, 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 Women's Championship. She called it the Women's Championship, and that was considered a botch. Because it's supposed to be called the Divas Championship. That's a problem. But I don't, I don't understand, like, that title as well is shaped like a fucking butterfly. Now... That's extremely... I can't... I can't get my head around this. That is the most sexist thing I think I've ever seen in my life. That's like the war title being shaped like a protein shake or something. I don't understand <laughs> the fucking, like... Goodbye. Goodbye. Basically, I don't understand... Goodbye. <laughs> yes. Everyone's now saying bye to you, Dad. Now fun at work. Um, the point is... Like, that is really sexist. It's like, uh, the, for the guys, the, the, the war title could be shaped like a protein shake with, like, the side plates of two cars and, like, <laughs> uh, fucking... No, because that would be fucking stupid. And It would be. What makes you laugh is on NXT, they are called NXT wrestlers and they're fighting for a belt that actually looks like a wrestling belt, not a fucking Barbie accessory because yeah, the it's... NXT Women's Champion Sasha Banks has really good wrestling matches. I blame Kevin Dunn. No, I. Well, no, Kevin Dunn is a huge part of the problem. Yeah, he's a knob. I, I... He has to go. Like, not just for the women's division problem. Like, he causes a lot of problems. He has to go. I don't. First and foremost. Why is he there? I have no earthly idea. I don't know what positive contributions he gives to that company, the, the, but he has to go. But the, the, the thing is, is that I was watching the Monday Night War and the, the, the woman's one, and they're just like, well, back in the day, women were just kind of, you know, there, and they're just valets, and they weren't really doing anything, and then suddenly it's had the great idea of bringing in Sonny, and then everything changed. And then, you know, they were like, well, fuck it, women can wrestle, yeah, let's do that. And then everyone was like, it's shit and cartoony, we're going to go back to Valets again. Oh, wait, Lita's here. Oh, Tristraz is here. Oh, good, they can wrestle again. And they're like, yeah, mm. we were doing just as well as the men. Let's fast forward 20 years. Holy Where Michelle McCool shit. and Melina got punished for having a match that was too good. Have you not heard the story? No. What's this? There was... I don't remember what event it was. I think it was Night of Champions. I want to say 2008. But they had a match for the women's title, as it was still called at the time. Michelle McCool and Melina. And it was a good match. So good that it was considered too good, and it outshined some of the men, and they got in trouble for it. There is a stigma that the women are not allowed to have matches that are as good or even better than the men. Why be in this company? I don't understand. And then I always see the comments of like, well, why don't you go to TNA where they have a respectable women's division? No, TNA they don't. doesn't have a respectable anything. No. They don't have a respectable world championship this, I division. I think this is just across the entire pond of wrestling. No. It's across the two major companies. Uh, because if you look at any other company where women wrestle, they're treated r well. There is one female wrestler in all of PWG, and right now she's one half of the tag team champions. Yes, I forgot about PWG. Okay, the two major companies. And there's all women leagues in Japan and shit that are awesome. So it's mainly a problem with WWE, and even then, only on the main roster and TNA. But we're to blame, Carmine, in a way. Kinda, yeah. Yeah. You know, like how a woman's match comes on and you're at the bar and you go for a piss? Yeah. Yeah, we're the problem. I mean, yes. It's everyone's they're... fault. It's kind of like, but this isn't strictly totally our fault because it's like, if you train me not to care, like, if you give, right. these, if you give these women no personalities and just fake tits... I'm not really going to care unless I think, oh, I would love to sleep with them and then that'd be it. That's bad. Or it's, I'd be like, it's, it's, this is going to be a quick five-minute match. Okay, I can go for a piss. That's not good either. 
Right. It's a, it's a problem on both ends. It's where, like, WWE produces boring women's feuds and boring women's matches and give the female wrestlers no personalities, so no the time. fans don't care. Nothing. Then, WWE sees that the fans don't care, so they don't put effort into the women's matches. It's a vicious cycle. Mm. So it has to start somewhere, and I don't trust Vince to make the first move, so I'd suggest we force ourselves to care a little bit. I, I think the crop of women that they have now is probably the best that they've had in years. If you look at NXT alone, there's so much potential there to do great things. I feel True, yes. like in the past, because they just did diva searches and stuff like that, like I just trained them to do like maybe one or two bumps or something, and that's it. Like, and that's where Kevin Dunn and especially John Laurinaitis become the problem because they're not hiring wrestlers; they're hiring models and half-ass training them. Because because they don't need to be fully trained. They're having one minute match. You could train me for a day, and I could do thirty-second matches. It wouldn't be good, and I'd be squashed, and the, everyone would just fucking Brock Lesnar would just f five me into the fucking ceiling. <laughs> but fuck it, you even you can train me to fucking take a bump, right? In a day. Don't make any like don't make me fucking Daniel fucking Bryan, does it? No. So I swore about five hundred times there, but the <laughs> point is, it doesn't help that in the past they've put no effort in finding female wrestlers, in training wrestlers, well, women who have no experience whatsoever doing this. I. Don't fucking shoot the messenger, but it's everyone's problem. We've all fucked up here, and something really does need to change. But something could potentially change, because they have talent that they're actually training in NXT, they're actually putting their time, effort, and energy into. And, I mean, the the latest UFC, the next UFC pay-per-view, which is coming up this fucking weekend, or Friday or whatever, Guess who's headlining it, Carmine? Headlining? Main eventing? Who? Ronda Rousey. That is awesome! Do you know who's semi-main eventing it? Who? Two more women. That's awesome! Do you know who's not headlining it? Men? Exactly! (laughs) Right? What a revolutionary idea! This is coming from a company, right? This is a perfect... UFC is a perfect example. Dana White literally said, I will never... I'm, I'm, I'm not... Don't fucking shoot me or come find me, Dana. I, I'm just kind of verbating what you said. He said, and this is a rough outline of what he said, women will never fight in the UFC because the talent pool is too small and it's niche and it will never work. And, what, two, three years later? Oh, shit, Ronda Rousey's the greatest fucking thing ever. Yup. Uh, hello? Why don't you actually look what other people are doing and nick what they're doing? I'm not saying plagiarism, well, I'm saying plagiarism, yes, but <laughs> just do whatever they do because what they're doing obviously works. Yeah, I mean, like, it, it, it goes back to NXT a little bit because, like, you can't put all the pressure on NXT. Like, as much as I may not like the Bella Twins and, and some of the other main roster divas, they are trying. Like, with what limited resources they're giving, they are trying their best. So we have to give them some credit and, like, force ourselves to care. Not necessarily like them, but care about their matches. Like, make noise when a diva does a cool move. React to them. You know? Yeah. I think it's a... I think it has been a... It's been a... If you've told fans for years that don't don't fucking care about this, no one's gonna. Care. I think it's gonna be years, years and years and years and years and years until we see something actually. Like with UFC, it took two or three years to change change the hearts and minds of people. People were like, when did <laughs> what? This Ronda this Ronda Rousey's really good. Oh for, oh my fuck! They beat someone in how many seconds? Oh my fucking god! That's basically how you do it with the proper talent that they have in NXT. Call them up, get rid of the Bellas, because no offense. They're great, but they are not that good. So they're great, but they're not that good. good. Yeah. That's a quote.
but they're not. They're, they're just not. Then like they didn't get trained. They are basically the diva search era type of divas, right? Yeah. Sorry, girls, but that's what it is. And they've been there for how many years? Jesus, I don't even know. Like, it's gotta be this is like John seven C- at least. This is getting to John Cena levels of just go away. Man, they're not that bad. They're but... not. They're not that bad. But like, and I get. And it I... also doesn't help where like the entire family that owns this company is a bunch of assholes. I love, I love how Steph was like, because of the fucking thing at the Oscars. She's like, yeah, women need a voice. You're a fucking woman. Why do you allow this to happen? Speak about your women's division. For fuck's sake, Steph. You're a woman. You're a fucking woman. You have a vagina. Why can't you actually see what's going on and think, wait a minute, this is really bad. This is fucking terrible. Why are we allowing these women to have 30 second matches on television? That's really bad. That's, yep. that's, that's, that's awful. And then Vince, Vince responds to some person on Twitter and is like, we'll keep that in consideration. Ha ha ha, keep watching. Ha ha. Have some no, fun. like he put out, uh, we hear you keep watching. Hashtag give divas a chance. That was the entirety of his tweet. Have some fun, damn it. <laughs> He's like, ha ha, why can't you just l- let the teams have 30 second matches? Ha ha, I'm Vince McMahon. It's, yeah, it's bad. But, uh, like, Stephanie, her responses have been the most corporate, I don't actually care bullshit ever. Oh, God, it's, she's just, I don't know. How can she not care? She's a woman. She what? used to be the women's champion. Can you imagine if Hermione's name... Emma Watson, right? She turned up at the UN and did that he for she speech and was like, fuck it. Well, yeah, quality. Uh, fuck it. Why not? Yeah. Fuck I mean, it. do it or don't do it. You know, you whatever know, happens. F- fuck it. And everyone at, the UN, everyone at the UN is like, <laughs> like, no, of course that wouldn't happen. Of course that fucking wouldn't fucking happen. I get- it doesn't help that her dad is so fucking out of touch with everything. It's just, I, I can't understand. I said this for years, and I <laughs> said it recently, and my entire Twitter just fucking blew up. Mainly because I did the worst spelling mistakes in human history, because it was 4am when I originally did the tweet. But, my original point is, how can a company have fans and not listen to its fans... And this company is like a publicly traded company. How can you not listen to the people? It's it's not like I turn up to McDonald's and I go, can I have uh, a chicken nugget meal, please? And they give me a beef burger and I go, well, no, I I don't want that. Can I have some chicken nuggets, please? Oh, okay. <laughs> and they give me like a fillet of fish. And I'm like, no, can I have some chicken nuggets, please? <laughs> no, we do, we're not going to give you that because... Fuck you. But I've Trust just, me, this fish is better. I've just paid for nuggets. I'm paying for nuggets. I don't want fillet of fucking fish, you dumb fuck. Well, you're having fillet of fish. No, fuck you, I'm going by. What is a fillet of fish? It's, that's what it's called, isn't it? Fillet of fish. Whatever, fillet, fillet, who fucking cares? The original. Fillet is not a. <laughs> it doesn't touch it, fillet, oh fish, find it, lock <sighs> it, bop it, whatever. The point is. Divas need to, like, and and it's not just us that have to do things. The divas, they gotta get loud about this. Oh, they just got on strike. Just don't turn up. Brock seems to do it. No, 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 no. They gotta get loud about it. Don't just don't just go on strike. Be there. Take whatever time you can get. Do the best you possibly can with that time, and get loud. And not just the divas on the roster. Divas on NXT. Fucking Trish Stratus and Lita gotta start saying shit. Yeah. Everyone uh, has to get involved. By on strike, I mean, if say, if say, I don't know, fucking Road Dog is like, okay, girls, you got five minutes, and they're like, well, fuck it, we're going for 20. Like, <laughs> just, just, just stay in the ring, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if Vince himself comes out and goes, get out of my ring, damn it. Like, just 
stay in the ring, have a 20 minute match. Fuck Vince. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, like, there's a point where it's a three hour show. Why the hell do they get 30 seconds? It's, it's, yeah, that's what makes you laugh. It's not a, it's not a one hour show. It's three fucking hours. Even on NXT, which is a one hour show, they have longer drawn out matches. <laughs> You have a three-hour show of <laughs> Raw, and you gave them 30 seconds. Oh, this is just as bad as Fastlane was. Fastlane was not bad. It was. Stop it. No, it was not bad. The, I mean, the crowd were dead. The the, the matches... That were, doesn't have anything to do with the quality of the matches. And the matches were okay. The result, so then the event wasn't bad, the, Andy. The results of them were terrible, though. So. No, they weren't yeah. terrible. Yes, they were. No, they weren't. They gotta keep seeing. Let's finish strong. talking about divas, and then we'll talk about Fastlane. All right. Well, it's it's just like everyone has to speak up about it if they want any improvement but, because the give divas a chance movement is not gonna be as easy. Which I say easy, even this one wasn't easy. Cena needs yes to say something. Yes, movement. Like Cena's married to a diva. Brian's married to a diva. Speak Have up. Have them say something. Yes, yeah, Cena. Speak the Brian. fuck up. God almighty. Like, exactly like Hermione said in her UN thing. She was like, men have to do something to fix this. Because right. men, unfortunately, for decades and for centuries, are the ones that have had more power over women. Sadly, that's a fact. Don't blame my fucking generation. Don't fucking point at me. Because this is what she said. Don't point at fucking me. Not me fucking specifically. But as a <laughs> man, don't fucking point at me and go, you're the problem. I'm going, no, I want to fix the problem. It's my grandparents and everyone before them. No offense, they're the ones that did all the fucked up shit. So I want divas to go 20 minutes because the fatal four way at NXT proves that women can go 20 minutes and have a better match than fucking Adrian Neville and Fed and fucking Balor. Because it's a fucking fact. These things can happen, but if you don't try, you never fucking know. Exactly. And like I said, the divas got to speak up. And of course, the guys have to speak up. The See, guy, I think the guys Brian. have to speak up more than the girls. Because Reigns, Lesnar. Can you imagine if these guys started saying something? They have. That's my point. Is the guys need to say more, but the women can only do so much to fight a male-dominated fucking industry, especially in okay, a male-dominated company, when the majority of those executives are probably blokes. When the majority of the roster are blokes, guess right. who can change everything in a heartbeat? The guys. Exactly. That's the only way it's going to change. That you can you can have as many people on Twitter rant and fucking rave about it. You can have AJ Lee do a weird fucking thing to Steph. You can have CM Punk saying shit. You could have fucking John Cena, but you need them all to do it. You can't have one or two guys. Maybe Cena could change a lot, but. You need everyone to get behind it. It's a fact. You can't... Like, you can't have a revolution with one person going, Well, fuck yeah! Let's fucking change everything! And everyone's like, yeah, it's never really going to change. What's the point? Right. Like, I want to see segments on Raw where they just sneak it in. Like, Tyson Kidd and Cesaro are sitting there talking about their tag team feud, and they just sneak in, oh, give Natty a chance. Something like that. Just get it in there, however you can. I meant backstage as well. I mean, just do anything humanly fucking possible. I don't know what it is. I don't go backstage in WWE. I don't know what the fuck happens backstage. None of my business, but... Does that sometimes mean that... Brock Lesnar walks away. Sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes he walks away, because someone may or may not have done drugs. But, you know, fuck Roman Reigns. Um, God damn it, Andy. <laughs> There's no proof that he did anything. Relax. Uh, oh, if he, if he has. <laughs> if he has, then sure. But for now, relax. Okay. But I think we've we've said everything that needs to be said about... The blokes need to change. Everyone needs to change. But the blokes have more of, a, more of the impact. Well, yes, of course. But it has to be everyone. Oh, yeah. Everyone, including blokes. Like, Triple H runs NXT. But he, you would think he would be the best guy for this. He, he is running the NXT and he said, I want women to have more time. Well, Paul... So say something! Well, Paul Levesque, if that's your real name and I said it right... <laughs> you did. Do something! I'm do the gamer! Do something, gamer. say something. Do something, Just ah. For fucking... Something. Ah. <laughs> I think the women uh, ah. need more matches. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, that's perfect. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. So, Hannah, what do you think of your, your sting match? Fuck it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Oh, oh god, god. That's speaking a... of that we should oh, we can see, mention Fastlane now. Can you now. talk like Triple H for the rest of the episode? <laughs> Fastlane uh, was actually pretty good, uh. <laughs> No, it wasn't. Uh. <laughs> it was. Uh. <laughs> okay. What about it was bad? Uh, the, results, uh. the results were bad. Nothing good. No, happened. it wasn't. So I Explain to me match. what was bad and why. Okay. What was the first match again? I completely forgot. It was uh, the six-man tag. I love you saying, uh, that's great. Um, <laughs> the six-man tag. Eric Roman is not over at the end. Are you... F the end? That's it? I would have preferred it, like, if Eric Roman's team won. But what can you do? Like, literally, I... when you really think about it, when Eric Roman left the White family to join... Uh, the To join... Team Cena. He hasn't had any good things happen to him since. No, his booking has been terrible. He's yeah. lost to the Big Show in every confrontation they've ever had, and <laughs> so that's you know stupid. What I mean? Logically, it'd be like, fuck this. Ah, uh, I'm Eric Rowan. Ah, uh, I've got a beard. Ah, uh, and a sheep mask. Ah, uh, and I'm just gonna go. His promos are shit. The mask is shit. I don't care. His promos are not shit. The mask is not shit. His character's really good. It's just they're booking him poorly. That's he, not his fault. He should have stayed with the White family. The White That's family not his never... choice to make. That, yeah, well, the whole thing should have stayed together because uh, it would have been better. I, uh... What else about Fastlane didn't you like? Gotta keep Cena strong. Yeah, when he loses. No, he didn't lose cleanly. But he lost. No. He's still... Who gives a shit? He's not the United States champion. That's good. No, I... Don't. He, but he Rusev's will be. still the United States champion. He That's good. Be. He will be. Uh, you know, maybe, but for now, he's not. So Fastlane cannot be held accountable for Cena's future victories. Okay, next one. Uh, <laughs> uh, referees... Uh, you can't, you referees can't, can't even... Referees can't count to three or two properly because they're fucking stupid. That ref during the Stardust Gold Dust match was retarded. Yeah, like, one, two, oh, fuck. He wins. Great. My hand slipped, but he still wins. His hand slipped? How do you slip? I don't know. It, like, didn't fully make contact with the mat. It was the dumbest thing ever. Well, then he should have just gone, two. <laughs> do something else uh, to fix my fuck up. Yeah, like, <laughs> not end the match, you dick. That that was, but the match up until that point was good. Yeah, the crowd were really bad. I think that's what the Memphis it. crowd was not great. That's what ruined the night for me because you fucking right. If you go to a wrestling event, please just even if it's like a shit event, like a shit any event, please do something. I so went to Battleground, yeah. which goes down as one of the not great events, but our crowd made noise, dude. Exactly, even if the event is shit, it's like your job is to actually. Do something. Anything. Right. Just anything. Fucking anything. I'm not saying now, there cheer are the good some guys times and where boo you the baddies. There are some times where you can't fully blame the crowd because some venues make it quieter because of the way it's built. Was that a but I don't why? think that was that entirely the problem. Like? What? The, that's what Stone Cold said on his podcast. It was like, that Memphis fucking building is shit. Yeah, I think Bad that old. was part of the problem. But there were points where you could tell the crowd is not reacting to what's happening. It's pissed me off. It was a 50-50 split on why that crowd sounded bad, but... Um, also... Stardust promo afterwards. That was good. That may have been a star-making promo, but... I'm not a fan of Rusev just not beating Cena cleanly that he had to be low blowed which <sighs> gotta keep Cena strong I guess um I really well one of the problems and I realized this halfway through the match is that Cena's never gonna tap out and Rusev doesn't have a, a finisher that isn't a submission why, so... why can't he tap out it's not that he can't he just never will they will never book John Cena to tap out why I don't know. 
This is why this fucking thing is backwards. It's just, it's a problem. Okay. It is a, it is a problem. Next problem with the show, Bray Wyatt. That was not a problem. I do not give a fuck about an <laughs> Undertaker Bray Wyatt match. Are you fucking telling me? Are you seriously sitting there and telling me that The Undertaker would not have a problem with Brock Lesnar at all? Like, whatsoever. Like, fuck it. He beat me. Okay, whatever. Like, are you serious? Maybe he saw what happened when Cena did have a problem with Lesnar and got murdered three times in a row. Who cares? It's The Undertaker. He's 50! Undertaker. He's going to be 50 this year. That's why he shouldn't wrestle. And the special thing is Bray Wyatt. Because it's going to be Gong That's what Bray Wyatt's Depp. saying. Gong versus Depp. That's Bray Wyatt's entire motive. Is Gong versus Depp? No! Is that Bray... Or is that Undertaker is, a, is not himself anymore and needs to go away and Bray Wyatt's going to send him away? Dumb. You're dumb. What's I don't next? want. I don't want the Undertaker's power in his stupid lantern. That's not at all what's implied. That's what's to going happen. to happen. They've had weird fucking things come out of it. They've had kids going, "God, your whole world!" Like it's, it's going to happen. What are you talking about? Anyway, what's the next problem you had with Fastlane that isn't legitimate? Daniel Bryan did not win. Oh well, it was a really fucking good match and it made Reigns look more than ready to fight Lesnar. So what's your point? <laughs> Sting... Uh, what? Looks You're just ignoring that? Sting is really old. Great, we already knew that and that's why no one cares about Sting versus Triple H. Well, don't do Give it. Sting a chance, movement. No, Sting can <laughs> fuck off, movement. Yeah, pretty much. I would have preferred Sting versus The Undertaker. I don't... I, that Literally, one I wouldn't have cared about, because there's so they, no reason for that match to happen. They can just both retire. In the end. What the fuck? No. There's no reason for Sting and Triple H to happen, but they're doing it anyway. There's yeah, no reason they for Bray Wyatt story, No, they that. gave a storyline reason for Sting versus Triple H okay, to happen. Okay, there's, the there's the actually no reason for Bray Wyatt and The Undertaker to be... Are you ignoring everything? There is a perfect storyline reason as to why Bray wants to fight The Undertaker. You do not have a point there. There is a storyline reason why Sting and Triple H are going to fight. You don't have a point there. Okay, Sting what? and Triple H, yes, because he's the WCW guy and Triple H has buried every WCW guy there is. But... That's not the storyline reason they gave them, but okay. Well, they should... They, what? Why can't they go along with that? They'll be like, I've beaten every WCW guy there ever was. Booker T... Fucking Goldberg, fucking Hogan, fucking who else did he beat? DDP? No, he didn't beat DDP. Uh, Steiner. Steiner, yeah, he beat the shit out of Steiner. Flair, he beat the fuck out of Flair. Uh, who else was that? Was that it? I don't know. I think that was but all. Of what them. what storyline reason would Sting have to fight the Undertaker? Dream match done. A storyline reason is that it's a dream match. Yeah, everyone in UFC wants to see GSP fight Anderson Silva. That's the story. In this one, it could be, I've never faced you, Undertaker. Do you want to wrestle at WrestleMania and we can both retire? Okay, I'm the Undertaker, dong. Thank God you don't book WrestleMania. <laughs> points at WrestleMania sign. I hate how everyone points that fucking sign. It's the most cliche <laughs> it's a tradition. thing. It's a tradition. Oh, fuck uh, tradition. It's not even a good one. <laughs> you can't argue that the Dean Ambrose Wade Barrett thing's not good. That was good. I do like how he stole the title and he wants to make the title a bigger deal. Yes. But that title's still shit. I don't care what anyone says. Bring back the old belt. This is the perfect time to bring it back. Wade Barrett's like, I am Intercontinental Champion. Look, see? Old belt. What? <laughs> no, because I changed the belt. That means you're not champion anymore. Da dun, da da dun, da da dun. I'm afraid I've got some new, new, bad news, new belt. Fuck it. Da, 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 da. <laughs> um, I'm tired, okay. You, the tag team championship thing was really good. Yes, I, I think Cesaro and Kid are great. Um, and I'm glad Cesaro has got some actual gold heading into WrestleMania. And uh, even the Divas match was actually not bad at Fastlane. It wasn't bad. So saying Fastlane was a bad event is just false. Fuck that main Roman. event was a five star match, dude. Fuck Roman Reigns. Fuck you. No, that match wasn't five stars. 
Are you shitting me? No, the triple threat from Rumble was definitely a five star match. This one, not quite. You're insane. You're absolutely insane. Four and insane. a half, but not five. Countering a spear into a small package, countering a running knee into a spear, countering a fucking Superman punch into a liver kick, countering a top rope move into a Superman punch, fucking kicking out of the running knee. No one's ever done that, by the way. It was a really, really fucking good match. Yeah, I'm not denying that. Great. It's four and three quarters. No, it's a five star match. Four and three quarters. If you're gonna go four and three quarters, what the hell is your problem that you're keeping it from being a five star match? That Brian didn't win. Dude, that's stupid. That's purely objective. That is that is nothing. No, that's no. They're they're they they're a publicly traded company, and they should listen to their fans instead of just going with a guy who. So Daniel Bryan wins everything forever. No one else ever gets a chance. No, 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 no. Give Reigns a chance, damn it. Fuck off. <laughs> right. Here's the reason why everyone on Twitter. Seriously though, no, I'm ser like that was a joke, but I'm kind of serious. Get everyone, shut up for a second and give Roman Reigns a goddamn chance. No. He's good. I know he's good, but he's not ready. He is. No, he's not. He proved it at Fastlane! Ooh, he had a good match because Brian was the guy who, you know... Uh, yeah? I can't think of the words. Right? He he basically w was running the match. He did not carry the match. That's it, he was carrying the match. He did not carry the match. Yes, he was. Completely. You clearly didn't watch it very closely. I was texting, but even I knew... Exactly! So your point is really irrelevant, Andy. Okay, the point... My problem with Roman is that he just sucks. He can't talk. He doesn't suck! He did. That's just a lie! <laughs> he's good! Okay, he's That's good. like someone who doesn't like Daniel Bryan saying, well, Daniel Bryan just sucks. Well, they're, they're, That's not true. They're fucking stupid, right? So Exactly! You sound really stupid right now, Andy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone on Twitter was like, ah, you're a fanboy. But I'm like, oh, come on. Right. He's more over than Roman is. Fact. So what? Like, I get it. I get it. The I really story would have made point about the overness. It would have been a better story having the mm. underdog go against the beast. That would make more sense. anyone going up against Lesnar's the underdog. Not he really. murdered the Undertaker and John yeah. Cena especially, and Seth Rollins. Especially Daniel fucking Bryan, a guy that's like half his fucking size. That would have been great. And, and I then, know. And but... then, and then, what they could have done is have like Roman all fucking pissy. And Cena beats Rusev because I fucking. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? And then Roman could face off against Cena, or or Rusev doesn't have to lose, and then uh, Cena versus Roman at WrestleMania, and then he beats Cena instead, and then we have ready Roman Reigns to face off, and you can have the whole summer of Brian versus Reigns, and you could have those five star matches that you thought it was, and you could have that all summer. The end. Fucking better booking than this shit, rather than or... having guy, rather than having guy who may have just got done for fucking doing drugs against the guy that's leaving and just walked out of fucking raw. Fantastic guys, welcome to WrestleMania fucking season. Okay, hold on now. That is a rumor that has no factual. Okay, backing. well the fucking guy who fucking is world fucking champion is gonna be in your main event. Just fucking walk out raw. But they don't know why. That is still entirely up in the air. To immediately claim that Roman Reigns was on something. Okay, I'm not saying right. no I'm not saying that, but what. what is for certain is that Brock Lesnar just walked out in the fucking company and God knows if he's gonna come back. No, he didn't walk out. well, we don't know. We, we don't know. We said that about we punk. We don't know anything yet. So let's relax. If he can't be bothered to even show up on Raw because of one fucking pissy little thing. We don't know what the thing was. Yeah, I know, but it's fucking... It's just... Stupid. That's like that's like if this time last year we said, well, if Punk can't be bothered to show up on Raw because of one little pissy thing, and then it <laughs> turned out to be saying. what it was, we don't know why Brock didn't... Why he left. He was there, and then he left. We know that. But it just He gets... left within the first hour of Raw being on the air. It just gets on my nerves how this whole this whole part this is precisely the reason why part timers are stupid. Because if something like this were to happen, yeah, because full timers never walk out. <laughs> oh, hi, punk. <laughs> oh, hi, punk. But part timers, I feel like have more of a they can just bend the company over more than 
Well, the world champion can kind of bend the company over whenever they want. It doesn't matter if they're part time or not. Give the fucking world title to a part timer. That's not. This is this is semantics. All right, listen. WrestleMania. Gonna suck. Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. It's not gonna. Oh my god, dude. To just assume it's gonna suck is so terrible. You said that about last year's WrestleMania, no. and guess what? That that ended up being one of your favorite WrestleManias of all time. Am I right? So, give it a second. <laughs> okay, but I knew that they were eventually going to do the right thing. No, you did not. Yes. You went for months and months. We all did about how Roman or how Daniel Bryan is not going to get in WrestleMania. They're going to bury him, blah, blah, blah. We thought that for months. So, you did not know that they were eventually going to do the right thing. Don't claim that you did. But they did the right thing. This yeah, but you didn't know they were going to do that. This is not you the assumed right thing. they were going to do the exact Literally, opposite. Literally, that crowd is going to be worse than a Philly crowd at WrestleMania. Oh my God, you, you are have, insane. You have, you you are have people insane. from all over the world who are the smarkiest fucks on earth. It's going to be worse than Philly, and they're going to boo you the are shit out, out of, of your Roman. mind. And if Lesnar can be asked to show up, they will cheer the fuck out Lesnar. Or they'll boo the fuck out of Lesnar because they know he's leaving. And you're going to have a Goldberg versus Lesnar style match in you your main event out of, of WrestleMania. Your damn mind. I'm not out of my mind. Insane. That's what you're going to have. You're going to have a you Goldberg are certified Lesnar match. Lunatic. No, because no one, because that's what's going to happen. I I can't I can't. I cannot deal with your with your logic right now. Why? My, Let's just end this episode. My logic is flawless. It is the it is so full of flaws. I've never seen more flaws in logic. Unbelievable. Give Reigns a chance is all I'm saying. <laughs> Give Reigns a chance. That's what this episode's all about, uh, really. Give Roman a chance. Or just don't. I'd rather the demons. No, have a give him a chance, damn it. No. Because you say Brian would have been a more interesting opponent for Lesnar. Picture what makes more sense. Because you have that X Factor floating around yeah, like called sh- Seth Rollins. Oh. Right? So what makes more sense? Seth Rollins wins the Brian beating Lesnar and then Seth just happens to cash in on Brian yep. and that there's no real history there or uh, Reigns beats Lesnar Rollins cashes in on him oh wow look at this shield history they have that should be interesting Reigns can have good matches and so can Rollins this feud's gonna be really good oh what's that Dean Ambrose is in the mix now oh <laughs> yeah, what's right. that Brian's in the mix now oh look at this how great this is that should be Wrestlemania <laughs> you can't do that in one month well, That's going to be the build the to SummerSlam. Event, WrestleMania is where Reigns will get the title, no. and that's what will build towards a huge feud at SummerSlam. I don't know exactly with who or what, but that's no. what's going to happen. And it's better no. than the alternative of Brian again. Brian I again. love Brian. I really Brian do. He's one again. of my favorites of all time. He is great, Brian. but there are sometimes better alternatives. Nope, Brian again. Shut, shut, God, you're like a four-year-old. I'm you not like a fucking shit. four-year-old, right? You cannot debate for shit. You're almost worse than Liam at debating. <laughs> don't, hey, don't you fucking say that shit. The <laughs> That's the insult of insult. Fuck, fuck you, right? <laughs> Brian is more over, he's more talented, he would have a better match with Lesnar, the end. But they're going mm-hmm. with Roman, and they're sticking their guns, fine, whatever. I, I don't care. Still I'm not going to watch it's still gonna event, be good. so I don't give a fuck. It's still going to be good. No, so, let's end this episode. Please. Fuck Roman Reigns. Goodbye. No, not fuck. <laughs> we'll see you all in two weeks for another bite size. God damn it. But we'll be back next week for a full one hour episode. Bye. Get. And give Roman a chance. And give Divas a chance. That's the important I thing. Just give Divas. Right, you know what? G- fucking have AJ Lee and Free Bella in the main event WrestleMania. Main event? Yep. Da, 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 Even though every year that the Rumble doesn't main event, you complain? Fuck Roman Reigns. Oh my god. End the episode. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da.